Alrighty, let's play this here. This is a cycle. Let's play this a couple times. Alright, so thanks for the clip and thanks for the reference. It's always cool to see. You definitely have a bit of a faster move in those, except for maybe this one's fairly similar. We have definitely a slower one here. Feels more like when I get up in the morning. And then we have that which much bigger impact. It's just different type of walks with a big head impact there. I think when I'm looking at what you have right now, the biggest things that strike me is A, I think you're you might have an extra frame here on your cycle here. So that's a, that's a technical thing. They're all this first and last, this and this. Cut one out for your for your loop. I'm gonna reduce this here. The biggest thing that I feel is that it's a slightly pose to pose where as the paw comes down and bam hits the ground that's where it also hits the lowest the lowest area of the head coming down meaning that i would tweak this to get more of an offset where we have boom this comes down and then boom this comes up shoots up the shoulder blade and then boom have it overlap and down on the head you can always go a bit too exaggerated that we can always kind of dial it back because you can see this here it's still fairly stiff and not super in terms of you know like rotations uh up and down on the head but still there's still a bit more of an impact that you can see on a the shoulders and then how it propagates down into the head so to me this is just a ever so slightly too pose to pose whoa hold on i moved something here let's go back move it one frame here and here so there's something where like the lines here all of this moving up and down kind of at the same time so for me i would look at breaking this up a bit more and there's definitely a lot of movement uh in the butt area sorry hold on i don't know why this actually goes back it keeps it keeps looping people are wondering what the hell is he doing i'm adjusting this and it seems to go back every now and then. So I feel like we can do a bit more and a bit sharper on the backside. I think it would sharpen the impact of the shoulder shoulder blades, but taking a frame or two out, just make it a bit sharper and then delay the section to have a bit more impact and um, overlap there on the, on the head. You also have a bit of a sharp stop on that paw if you look at this here you can see how it goes up and you can see here too as this goes up beep, get to this point and it's very straight and i think you can give this a bit more of a subtle subtle arc going back and front you can see it especially here how the back side here ah, bang bang as well your heart hits and actually, I see this only here. This seems to be softer on the screen right side from behind. I do like the fleshiness and the movement of the backside there, which is really cool. I would just add also some arcs. The legs are going forward in a very straight way. You can kind of push that a bit more. And you can potentially push even the laziness. They have a very pronounced uh, rotation in on those paws. You might even push that a bit more. Love the spreading of the toes. That's there already. That's cool. And that will probably add a bit more roll like this in your head. It feels very straight where it's kind of a an IK head translating left and right with a little bit of feels like wide translation, but you can have a bit more of a of a roll and tilt like that. And like an overall, if you look at the height, is similar. I would like an overall head tilt. Like its default is ever so slightly tilted to give this a bit more of an organic look. So it's not so straight and uh and default. You know cg to a point where i wouldn't mirror this at all with my fantastically horrible straight line almost ah oh, ah oh, there you go kind of <laughs> so i will look at the distance between the center and where this 
for plants, the other one could be either further in or a bit more further out. So rotation overall in Y could be either a bit more in or out. I mean, like everything has a little, slight little change for asymmetry, but more of more of an organic offset. Uh, offset, so we don't have a such a, a CG symmetry to everything. You know, like even your arc that you might have there that's like a bit more of an inner arc as it goes forward could be more pronounced on one side than the other. It's a great start though. You can also tweak the ears a tiny bit uh, and have ever so slight impacts when it steps. A little bit of a, I won't do a jiggle, but like the top part would have a, would be a bit looser. Just a tiny bit. Just to loosen that up a little bit. I think that's kind of it. Up to you if you want to do a blink. Like on your reference, I wouldn't do a blink this slow. This kind of fits more the mood of that that slow walk. And I mean, this guy doesn't blink. Let's just see what he does here. Or she, actually. Yeah, make a tiny little... Be cool to have a little blink there. Mr. Lion here. So cool to see. Sorry, I was transfixed by, by nature. She's so cool. Such a huge creature. It will tear you apart. No blinks though, huh? <laughs> it's very concentrated. Oh, what he's doing there. Ah, mouth open. Must be very warm. He's a mouth breather. Anyway, differences, his and hers. Um, so yeah, I would uh, tweak those little things. But again, it's a really cool start, and that's it from me. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.